Disney Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Once Upon a Time Story time! Everyone gathers in the clubhouse reading room. Let's read the story about the beautiful princess, says Minnie. I want to read the one about the brave knight, says Goofy. That story has magic. My story has magic too, says Minnie. Suddenly, Goofy's wand begins glowing. In a flash, all the stories disappear. Then Minnie and Goofy disappear. Minnie magically appears in a small house. Where am I? She wonders. And why am I wearing such dirty clothes? Suddenly, Minnie's fairy godmother appears. There you are, Minnie Rella, says the fairy godmother. It's almost time for the ball. Minnie is in the princess story. I don't want to go to the ball, says Minnie Rella. I need to get back to the clubhouse. Goofy also lands in a strange place dressed in different clothes. He sees two tiny knights approaching. Excuse me, fellas, says Goofy, but how do I get out of this strange kingdom? The only way to leave is to rescue Daisy Beauty from Beast Castle and find the golden book, says the first knight. Everybody knows that. Tourists, jokes the other knight. Back in her story, Minnie Rella learns that the only way to get back home is to dance with a handsome prince. And I'm guessing that prince is at a fancy ball, asks Minnie Rella. And I'll need a fancy dress for the fancy ball. Right you are, says the fairy godmother. With a wave of her wand, she turns Minnie Rella's ragged clothes into a beautiful gown. Goofy doesn't know how to get to Beast Pete's castle, so he asks a Pied Piper and his merry dog for directions. Sure, I'll help you, says the Pied Piper, if you can help me fix my flute. Luckily, Goofy knows some magic words. Oh, Toodles, he calls. A fairy tale Toodles comes to the rescue with some sticky tape. Beast Pete's castle is through the woods, says the grateful Pied Piper. Meanwhile, Minnie Rella needs to figure out how to get to the castle as well. But instead of calling Toodles, Minnie Rella calls her fairy godmother. Are you going to turn a pumpkin into a carriage? Minnie Rella asks her fairy godmother. Sorry, pumpkins are out of season, says the fairy godmother. With a wave of her wand, she turns a tiny tomato into a fancy carriage. Goofy makes it to Beast Pete's castle and rings the doorbell. What's all that noise? roars Beast Pete. A brave knight has come to rescue me, says Daisy Beauty. How wonderful. But if you leave, I won't have any friends, says Beast Pete sadly. Goofy throws a party to help Beast Pete make friends. It works. Beast Pete transforms from a beast back into a prince, and Daisy Beauty is saved. Minnie Rella finally makes it to the ball. She rushes around the party searching for a prince to dance with so she can go home. Finally, Minnie finds Prince Mickey. Let's boogie, she says. Prince Mickey and Minnie Rella dance and dance, but Minnie Rella doesn't go home. Hmm, the story must not be over yet, says Minnie Rella. At Prince Pete's castle, Goofy finds the golden book. It's at the top of a tall shelf. Goofy uses balloons from fairy tale Tootles to float up and grab the golden book. But instead of going home, Goofy keeps floating up. What's that? asks Prince Mickey. Minnie Rella looks up and sees Goofy floating in the sky. Minnie Rella and Goofy are in the same story. Minnie Rella throws her glass slipper at Goofy's balloons. The balloons pop and Goofy floats to the ground. Goofy and Minnie Rella open the golden book together and poof, they are back at the clubhouse. Where have you been? asks Mickey. Minnie giggles and says, let's tell it together, Goofy. You go first. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't miss our next Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Minnie's Best Bow. Bye-bye.